Okay, hi, this is Jeffrey, and this is Linda from uh, Ballroom of Reno for West Coast 102. Tonight we were tucks. We did very many different tucks. Um, the first one we did was really a, it was really a, a simple, simple tuck. There was no tuck action. Why we call it tuck? I don't know. So all we're doing is, guys, you're doing a left side pass footwork. You're just going to go back, turn. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a tuck. It's a walk walk. We're doing the walk walk. Yes, I did. Sorry, okay. take, take two. <laughs> so it's one, two. She goes four together, forward, then anchor step. You got it? Yeah. She goes into an S. So we call it an S tuck or a stuck, right? So it's nice and smooth. And she goes through. We'll do it again. Okay, ready? And we got one, two, three, and four. And I almost led you in the tuck. All right? <laughs> so, so that's the simple one. Now, the reason why I do that tuck, it's easier for the guys to learn the footwork and not have to worry about the tucking action. Now, the tucking action is where my left hand comes to my left shoulder. Now, in order to tuck or turn her out, I have to tuck in first. So you'll notice that my fingertips will go left as I do the tuck. I don't want to go straight up or opposite because my fingertips will tell her where we're going to go. So when I do the tucking action very slowly, I'm going to go one, two. I'm bringing my hand up. I'm turning my fingertips left. I'm going to bring it to my shoulder, three and four. Now you notice what her footwork did. She did a back step on three. So we'll do it again. So we went one, two, three and four, five and six. And as she did that, she pressed into my hand. So, so with that being, we'll just dance a little bit. So we'll go one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now, the advantage I have on a, a closed tuck like that is to use my right hand as lead. So that is actually the leading hand because it's connected to her body. So when I go into this tuck, I could do this without this hand. Watch. One, two, three, and four. I let her without my left hand. Doesn't make a lick of difference. Uh, that's actually called a free tuck. So we're we doing that next week. So, so when I'm doing this, if I do the smooth tuck or the stuck, I go, I use my right hand to guide her through. That tells her to smooth it out, okay? Whether she brings her feet together or passes, it doesn't matter. I mean, I, when we teach in the beginning, we say bring feet together, because it's an and beat, but the reality of the music will make you go smooth. Um, the other move we did was a sugar tuck, or a tuck break. Uh, if Skippy's listening, it's tuck break. So it's one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now on this tuck break, uh, I obviously I just do sugar push footwork. She's coming forward on the tuck. It's her sugar push footwork. Stop and four, three, stop, four. Now it's important that my left hand is in front of her head. Now she's going to continue to move and stay connected, so there's no air gap or gaps in our connection, and it's going to tether her. She goes around triple step. Now she'll look her head to the right a little bit more. So she looks over the top, three and four, five and six. Now guys, if I mess her up, be careful, I don't want her, but watch, I'm gonna mess her up. Three and four, do you see what I did? I didn't go far enough and that just poses your partner. So if I stopped on four again, three, stop, four, I step forward to her. Now this connection stays nice. She can take it nice and wide. Girls have a tendency to take it a little too tight when you do it right, we just turn it on. So this is usually a bad one. And so they, she just flips it around. There's no connection at all. Uh, if I lead that, that's different. But for right now, we're just trying to be sure the girls find the connection. We move away from the hand and look over the shoulder so we see our partner. Now, we didn't bring this up with your hands in a funky position. We can do one of two things. We can do an underarm turn, which magically turns the hand over. Or we could actually do this. Watch. Watch my hand. There we go. OK? <laughs> so you can do one of those two things. No one cares. Uh, anything else? Oh, we did talk about underarm turn real quick, just real quick. The fingertips, the girls have a tendency, we, a lot of girls will slide to the tips of the fingers where it's hanging on. So guys, when we do an underarm turn, we want to take our middle finger and our ring finger and put it in the palm of her hand. And girls, we suggest in the beginning especially, if you bring your middle finger and your thumb together, it makes a nice little connection here for us. And guys, when the hand comes down, drop the fingers back inside the hand so you have all four fingers in the hand. Don't dance like this. That looks weird. Dance with all four fingers in your hand. And other than that, I think we're good. All right. All right. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you, Linda. Thanks. <laughs>